Hey everyone, it's Hannah Catherine with Edie's Craft Room here. Today we are going to be making a beautiful card. Now this is part of my Shop My Stash series. I'm sure so many of us crafters have stashes out there of items that we love but aren't quite ready to part with and so we need to use them before we bring in new items. So that is what I did here. I have some beautiful vellum, let me grab it. This has been sitting in my craft room for years. I think I got it, yep, on clearance for 49 cents and I have quite a few sheets of it and I love it, it's so pretty, but I've never used it. So today I challenged myself to make a card or two with this product that I love and that just really needs to be used. So. Today I also have something that I'm gonna try and make a purpose of doing in the future for any sort of tutorial or card that I design, and that is to make an option with the materials that I have. So I would consider this more of an intermediate card. You have some embossing on the paper, um, some stamping of course, and paper cutting. Um, but Ultimately, not everyone has an embossing or a die cutting machine. These circles here are die cut. And I remember what it was like getting started in the crafting, stamping, especially card making, scrapbooking world and not having those items and those items not being in my budget, um, but really still wanting to make something beautiful. So I also have another option here that bypasses those steps so you can still get a beautiful card. And hey, because we're shopping my stash, many of these items that I'm using might not or probably aren't in stock. I think it might be pretty difficult to find this exact vellum someplace. Um, but that said, there, there's no reason that you can't use a beautiful decorative black and white paper and black and white cardstock and these flowers or something similar is pretty easy to find. I guarantee there are still pearl embellishments on the market at your local craft store somewhere. So with all of that said, let's jump into making this card. All right, so you're gonna start off with your three pieces of paper. First here, I have this gorgeous vellum. It's a 12 by 12. And then I just have an eight and a half by 11 piece of black cardstock and white cardstock. Now I like to start with all of my cutting. So I have my paper trimmer here and bear with me, I am in desperate need of, honestly, I could just say new blades, but honestly, I'm probably just gonna get a whole new paper trimmer. This one has been through a lot. So I am cutting my piece of white cardstock in half. So your measurements on this will be four and a quarter inches by 11 inches. And then you can just save that other piece for later. We love our scraps here. Now you're gonna take this piece that you just cut and fold it in half. If you have a bone folder, awesome, definitely use it. If not, no worries. I completely understand that this is something that you might not have in your stash if you're just starting out. So I'm just going to crease this down and make sure my fold is nice and tight. Next, I'm gonna take my eight and a half by 11 piece of black cardstock and I'm gonna cut it to four inches by five and a quarter inches. One of the reasons why I think I'm gonna get a whole new paper trimmer is this one does not have the five inch realm marked because it's on that crease there of the extension arm and so I just hate that. So anyway, if you do not have a big shot or some sort of embossing machine, then you can just go ahead and adhere that black piece down onto the card. Otherwise, we'll move on to embossing it. Next, take that piece of white cardstock that you have left over and you're gonna cut it at two inches by 11 inches. And this is gonna be for the base of your belly band that's gonna go around the card. And then finally, we get to use the vellum. Here, you're gonna cut this at one and three quarter by 11, or this is a 12 by 12, so I just left it at 12. It really doesn't matter too much your length as long as it's not too short, just because this piece is going to wrap around the card. So you can trim it if needed, but I just left this at one and three quarter by 12. So now it's time to break out the big shot or any sort of embossing die cutting machine that you have. 
I have this embossing folder here and I loved this because I thought it matched the design on the vellum very well. And so I am just putting my piece of black cardstock that's four by five and a quarter in that folder. And then I am adjusting my big shot to accommodate the embossing folder. And then just sliding that in, in between the two platelets. And I am gonna crank that piece of paper through. Now this is the result of what that crank looks like and oh my gosh, I just love this. This folder, this pattern is so beautiful. I'm trying to get it so you can see it. The lighting situation is kind of weird, but hopefully you can see it there. Just gorgeous. Now next up on the big shot, I am going to die cut the circles for my sentiment. So I'm going to readjust it to handle my circle die cut and take one of my black scraps for the larger circle place the die cut on there, and then place my other platelet on and crank it through. So that's what your die cut circle should look like. And if you have a punch, you could absolutely use that too. I just have this, so that's what I'm going to use, but you use whatever works best for you. Now I'm gonna do the same thing, but just with a little bit smaller of a circle on my white scrap. And I am just here adjusting again, cranking the white piece of paper through, and this is what my sentiment is gonna get stamped on. So at this point we are done with the big shot and now it is time to move on to stamping. I have all of my pieces here, so I'll just lay them out for you. We have the card base, which is the white cardstock, our embossed piece of black cardstock, the base for our belly band, and then the vellum for the top of the belly band, as well as our two circles that will be used for the sentiment and to showcase the sentiment. Now, again, if you don't have an embossing or die cutting machine, your project can still look lovely. I have here the card option for that. And what you'll notice here is that I did a square sentiment, which you can cut on your paper trimmer. And so you would just want to adjust that size to however big your sentiment is that you are stamping. So for now, we'll push the other materials aside. I have this stamp mat that I got from Stampin' Up. I really like it just because it helps me ensure an even stamp, but again, this is not a material that is a necessity. So I am just going to ink up my stamp with some black, jet black stays on. You can use whatever color or type of ink you like for this. This is just what I had and I'm going to stamp onto my circle. Now, you'll notice that my sentiment is a little bit bigger than my circle. That is just fine, I do not mind, but perhaps you would wanna adjust the size of your circle or however big the square or what, whatever shape you're stamping on. I just thought this looked nice because it really filled up the space, but again, completely up to you and your own creative discretion. Now it's time to assemble the card. So I'm gonna take my card base and I'm going to take my embossed piece of paper and put some Tombow glue on the back of it. And you'll see me struggling a little bit here. I think it's time for me to open a new bottle. Um, but I also try and glue down the more flat side of the embossing, so not the raised side, but the um, more flat side. I just think it helps adhere better. You could use a tape roller for this. I prefer glue. I just think it gets into the nooks and crannies a little bit better. So I'm just gonna center that background on my card base and press. And that's pretty much it for your card. Really, the wow factor comes from the belly band. So I'm gonna take the base of that belly band and center it on the front of my card and then flip it over and just fold over those sides so that they meet. Now 
And you want to make sure your belly band is as tight as possible, but not too tight. Um, otherwise, it'll slip or your card won't be able to fit in it. So I just used my tape runner here. You could continue to use glue. I just thought this was easiest. And so that is the first step. And then the second step is to take my vellum or my uh, decorative black and white designer paper and just match that up in the center of my belly band base. And all I do is just follow the same steps as I did for the base folding over, and then adhering the ends together. Part of the reason I love using glue is because I can recenter a little easier. You can fix your mistakes um, and it's not quite as permanent as the tape runner. And then again, forgive me for my dull paper trimmer. You can kind of see the remnants of some of that paper that didn't slice through cleanly, but the card still looks great. So that's what matters. Now I'm going to take the base of my sentiment and then the sentiment itself and just glue that down. Now you could use some uh, pop dots or dimensionals here, but since I felt that the card had already a little bit of um, higher width, you know, if I wanna mail this, I don't want the card to be too, too thick. So I left those up, but that is completely up to you. And so all I am going to do is to adhere it. I'm just gonna add a little bit more glue. Now, I definitely felt for the vellum, I wanted to use glue. I'm just not quite trusting of the tape runner on that material since it's just not cardstock. So that is what I'm using to adhere. And I'm putting this on the right hand side. I just kind of liked that rule of thirds where I'm placing it, but you could obviously put it anywhere you liked on the middle, the left hand side, wherever. Now finally, the fun part, we get to add our embellishments. I just had these flowers in my stash and actually with this card, I'm using the last of them. So now this gives me an excuse to go out and buy some more embellishments, but I'm just putting a little bit of a dot of glue on the back of each of them to adhere them. And they're just, they're pretty much a thin paper. They're really nice. I, I love weightless embellishments almost um, because again utilizing the mail i have family and friends all over the country and so i love to send cards in the mail and so when i have materials that make that easy it is fantastic last but not least i'm going to take some pearl embellishments and just stick those in the middle of my flowers these have some adhesive on the back of them already but if you wanted a little bit heavier duty of a stick you could use glue um, and that is the card now you could stamp whatever sentiment you would like on the inside but since i don't know the purpose of these cards yet i'm not going to do that i'm going to save it um, and so that is the final product i absolutely love it you can check out my samples with this one that i just made the two that are embossed and also used to the die cutting machine but then also check out how beautiful the one that skips those steps is as well i mean gosh even if you have those items if you're in a hurry and trying to make a lot of cards go for it this still looks great the black and white i think is perfect thank you so much for joining me this has been an absolute blast if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave me a comment. I would love to hear your thoughts and for us to be able to swap inspiration for future projects. I'll see you next time. Bye.